Hey, hey, friends and revolutionaries, back for part three of the Mark II Q&A question answers, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. You ready for it? You ready? You ready? Got a little bit to, uh, to do first. Uh, before I get into it, I uh, just want to apologize to M134 Maggot and Spectre M91. Uh, because of the way these were printed up, I kind of have to read from the bottom up, and I got to the question here on this one page and just put it aside and forgot to read the rest of the page. So I skipped your questions yesterday, but I promise I'm going to get to back to it right now. Uh, first one, which figure in your collection means more or has more sentimental value? That's from M134 Maggot. Uh, honestly, that's a good question because the two figures or two sets that I have that I'll be getting to real soon, I promise, I really want to get these figures open, uh, are actually from viewers, from subscribers, from YouTube friends. Uh, the first one is from Rose Marlin, a uh, real cool guy, actually sent me like a box of swag, some really cool stuff that was in there, uh, including the uh, Electra and Rowan Soldier figure. And it's an older set, uh, but uh, but it's still you know it, it it's one that I really like and uh, and uh, I I certainly want to get to. Uh, there's also the Wolverine and Forge two pack in there, but if you've seen the review on those figures, they're kind of it's kind of creepy. So uh, so the uh, the Electra and Rowan Soldier, you know from Rose Marlin, that's the first one. Uh, the second one comes from the review spot. Which hey spot, welcome back. You know glad to have you here. You know good to see you're doing well. Um, can we see you get to that MJ figure? <laughs> but um, the review spot actually sent, you might have seen it, the uh, the Cassandra Kane Batgirl from the DC Superhero set. Another one that I definitely plan on getting, here, or getting to here real soon. Uh, it's something where, uh, <laughs> for anybody who saw that video, uh, let me go ahead and answer now. No, he did not actually send me that Popeye's chicken. <laughs> And no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't open the box first to put it in there. If you watch the video, there's a little bit of a, a skip, you know, kind of at one point uh, where you can see where I kind of had to edit it so I could take all the packing out of the box and put the chicken in. <laughs> so no, I didn't open the box ahead of time. I had no idea what was in it before I opened it. Uh, and no, he didn't actually send me that. That I put in there just as an inside joke. So <laughs> so. Uh, uh, for uh, for Rose Marlin and the review spot, guys, thank you again for those. Uh, those figures actually do hold the most sentimental value for me. Uh, for Spectre M91, he has a question. Uh, sequel or you, you quoted the sequels aren't as good as the original. What what sequels are as good as the original or better than the original in your opinion? And uh, do I read any non superhero comics? Well. Um, Unless Heavy Metal counts, no, I don't really read many non-superhero comics, though I do like reading Heavy Metal, not for what you might think, but <laughs> uh, I read it because I like the fact that there's a collection of stories. There's like one big story that goes throughout, and then usually one or two smaller ones that are kind of, you know, dusted in there, and, and I like it. I, I like reading Heavy Metal. Uh, as far as uh, sequels... Well, I think uh, I think Empire Strikes Back was definitely better than any of the other Star Wars, including A New Hope. Uh, I think that uh, I think Terminator, though I, though I have to say I think that uh, the Terminator, the original Terminator, was awesome. I think Terminator Two was as good, possibly better. Uh, along those same lines, I think Aliens was better than Alien. I, I you know the Marines with the mob of aliens that was a good one. A lot of action, a lot of uh, uh, suspense in that. And, uh, you know, you might disagree with me, but I think Gremlins 2 was actually better than Gremlins. Uh, just because, you know, it, was, it, w it wasn't going to be a movie they could take too seriously to do over, to do a, a real sequel on. So, you know, they went ahead and said, forget it, just make it a joke, and had more fun with it. And I like the, the fact they did it that way. You know, there was a real story going on, but it never took itself too seriously. So I definitely think that, uh, that Gremlins 2 was better than Gremlins. Because of the fact that it didn't take itself too seriously. Uh, so, okay. Um, pa Pasu Jula. I have to find out this is, this is uh, 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 f from Finland. <laughs> Asks, uh, uh, I'm sure you've seen the battle helmet that comes with the Master Universe Classic Panther. Your quick thoughts on that helmet. Will you pose the figure with the helmet on? Uh, also, please say out loud the, the following sentence. You guys are going to laugh your head off. 
Valen Kumos Jat Kun Ja Ya Travisias Travisia Kai Kili Somalisili Fanili and let the uh, let the revolution continue and shout out to all my Finnish friends. So that, that's what I was told it meant. And though I'm sure I said that completely wrong, I will be happy to say the let the revolution continue. And as a shout out to all my Finnish friends, you especially, because uh, I can't say it in, in Finn, but I can say it in English just fine. <laughs> To answer your question, as a filmation and vintage purist, I am not planning on using the helmet. I'm not planning on using it. I haven't seen or I haven't looked at a whole lot of photos of it just yet. Um, I won't get into what's been going on with me and Mattel right now, but uh, but it's something where I'll, I'll do it when we get to the Master Universe for this month. But uh, I'm not planning on it. It doesn't look bad, uh, and uh, it's very possible that I might, depending on how it looks when it, when I get it. But, uh, but as a purist for the vintage line, I'm not expecting to. That may change, but, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how it turns out. It's all depending on how it turns out. Uh, MF523, if you had to choose which reality uh, would you want to live in as an ordinary citizen, DC, Marvel, or any other uh, fantasy setting for that matter? Um, how much time do I have? Okay, I think that uh, I think that uh, simply because uh, DC's universe, you know, the the, the cities in DC, Gotham, um, Metropolis, Coast City, you know, the the whole things, uh, the, all the cities are made up. You know, literally anything can happen to those places. Whereas with Marvel, you've got L.A., New York, Washington. You know, those are real places. You can't just do anything to those places. I mean, I guess you could, but. You know, you don't really. You know, unless it happens in the real world, you don't normally see major things happen in the in the Marvel universe. You know, as a matter of fact, they almost tell their stories, letting you know why the city just happens to keep running as it does. So, uh, so I think just because, I, as an ordinary citizen, I wouldn't want to run the risk of anything too crazy happening in my town. I'd probably want to live in the Marvel universe. Uh, just too too risky, too risky to live in DC. You know, no one telling what would happen. <clears throat> now, there is a, a comic out there, and if any of you guys know the name of it, I would love to track it down. But it is a, it is a, a comic where the whole story is that the regu- that the citizens, you know, most of the people are all superheroes, and there's only one ordinary guy, and the whole story is about how they put this guy in danger, only to swoop down and save him. You know, seconds later, you know, seconds seconds before something happens, like they'll take him and tie him up, leave him on the train tracks, just so they can come by and save him. So, you know, it's it's the fact that how this guy tries to get through his day, uh, where at any moment he could be whisked away to be uh, to be uh, 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 like falling off the building or something, you know. And uh, I think I would like to live as a hero in that world. Just so I can see how this guy gets by. I mean, it's got to be funny. So, uh, so if any of you guys remember the name of that comic, I would love to be able to look that up. That actually was just, a friend of mine told me about it. I, I'd seen it on the shelf. I didn't buy it, but it's one of the things where I would love to get that comic. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you know what? Well, uh, we'll take just a quick second here. Let me reset my camera. All right. Next question. Next question comes from who's going to ask the next question. Albac, A L B A C K, Albac. Uh, two questions. Five Masters Universe classic uh, characters you're most excited about, announced or unannounced. Uh, let me answer that one first. Catra. I'm very excited about getting Catra. Oh, I'm so excited about getting her. Not only are we getting a new member of the Horde, but we're getting the uh, the, uh, the the Cat Girl. Oh, that's going to be nice. Uh, Manny Faces. Uh, it's one of the things where uh, after the New York Comic Con uh, 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 pictures came up, yeah, Manny Faces is definitely one I'm looking forward to getting. The Ultimate Battleground Tila, I mentioned it when Tila came out. They need to do a blonde version of her. Uh, I'm not as stoked to the fact that they're putting her in kind of the barbarian outfit, kind of like the old, uh, the old, um, I guess uh, King Grayskull kind of style. Uh, I would like to see them still keep her in her original costume with the hair, but 
Eh, take what you can get. We're getting a blonde Tila. <laughs> uh, the faceless one. Now, again, I'm not a big 2010 fan, but the faceless one looks like he's going to turn out pretty cool. So I'm, I'm really kind of interested to see what he's going to be like. And as far as unannounced, I can't wait for Ram Man. Uh, it's something where Ram Man was one of the first Master of the Universe vintage figures put out. He's been a stable in, the, in all the cartoons. So, you know, it's, it's taken a while for them to do him. I hope they do him justice. I hope they do well for him. Uh, next, uh, name your personal, or name, by your personal opinion, five top YouTube reviewers. No need to explain why, just name your top five. Um, well, I guess as far as uh, figures go, as far as uh, toys go, well, the review spot, of course. Welcome back, dude. Uh, Ray, well, he's, it's simply called I Love Mess. If you're a Transformers fan, check him out. He's, he's back. He's doing reviews. If you think I can talk, you got to check this guy out. <laughs> I mean, this guy can talk. But uh, it's, it's I Love Mess. goes by Ray. Uh, Red Letter Media, by far one of the best reviewers for, uh, for uh, Star Trek, Star Wars. Uh, just really, really, Baby's Day Out. Just one of the things where a really funny reviewer of movies. I, I think he does a great job. Uh, SF Debris. I'm not a Voyager fan. I'm a Star Trek fan, and I think that uh, that he's he's made the right call on just about every episode that he reviews. Plus, on his own uh, on his own web page where he has uh, Doctor Who, great reviews on those. Definitely enjoy watching him. SF Debris, awesome guy. And then the last one, uh, I'd have to say uh, uh, the Nintendo nerd. You know, the angry video game nerd. You know, for video game reviews, you really can't do better. You can't go wrong. You know uh, uh, the the, uh, the the Nintendo the angry video game nerd. That's that's who I have to say. So as far as my favorite reviewers for each of those categories, there you go. Uh, what's your favorite toy line? This that's is from uh, uh, BK thirteen NA. Favorite one is the Master Universe Classics version. My favorite so far. Again, that may change, but for right now, that's my favorite. Uh, let's see here. 316 The Zack. Do you play video games, and if so, what do you play? Not as much as I used to. I don't play video games as much as I used to. Uh, I do want to start playing again. Uh, I, I definitely want to start playing. I, I haven't even played the new Tekken yet, and I was such a Tekken fan. Uh, it's one of the things where I really want to, want to you know, get back. The new Splatterhouse. I played the old Splatterhouse, and that was just, oh, that was just a great game. The new one. You know, I haven't I haven't read any reviews on it, but I'm glad to see they're remaking it. I hope it turns out well. Um, I do like kind of Silent Hill style games, and uh, and I'm I guess I'm waiting to see what the next Silent Hill is going to be because uh, once I get a look at it, I probably won't be able to resist. I'm going to have to break down and get it. Uh, yes, let's see, Evan Evan sucks Paul Pulse <laughs> Evan such O Pulse. Dude, I'm, I'm doing my best. Okay. Um, who do you think would win our fight? Wolverine versus Doomsday and Deathstroke versus Deadpool. Well, I don't put Wolverine in, in, in the league with Doomsday. I mean, Wolverine's a tough guy, yeah. But let's face it, Wolverine basically fought Superman to the death. And I don't think Wolverine could do that. So I got to put, uh, put my money on Doomsday in that fight. Uh, Deathstroke versus Deadpool. That's a good matchup. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't help but, uh, but get the image of a father and son rivalry kind of thing going. Uh, as such, I would probably say it would, it would, it would really come down whoever got the lucky shot or whoever kind of caught the break. Uh, in the end, I do think I would want to see Deathstrike win, uh, just to kind of, just to, just to, just so Deadpool isn't quite up there yet. You know, he's not up there yet. Deadpool is still... Our, our uh, death stroke is still a little better, but it, it's something where it, it just comes off as a father father son rivalry to me, and I would still want to see death strike or death stroke come out on top. Uh, what is your favorite DC Universe figure? Uh, it's either it's a toss up. It's either going to be the uh, Barbara Garton Batgirl, who I think is a perfect version of her, or the Toys R Us exclusive Hal Jordan, the one with the uh, with metallic paint. I think those two are are probably my favorites in the line. Uh, Power Girl, of course, comes in a strong third. Man Bat. There are a lot of them that I like, uh, but those two would have to probably, probably be my two favorites to choose. Uh, that was from Mr. M. Mott. 
Manbat, speaking of which. Manbat, one, two, three, four, five. Who's your fairy, ha- favorite Harry Potter character? Um, I like Gilderoy Lockhart. I liked Lockhart from the second book. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, after we saw him in the hospital, I think it was in, what, book five, was it? I thought that uh, it, was, uh, it would be kind of cool uh, if uh, Lockhart, as he began to regain his memory, started to read his own books and actually started to believe that he was who he wrote about. And that at the end of the story, he would come riding in as the hero he always made himself out to be. You know, he's, again, one of those inept characters that just are bad at what they do, so I automatically like them, but the potential of turning Lockhart into something completely different, actually completely turning his character around like that, I thought that would have been really cool. Have Lockhart show up fighting uh, against the Death, uh, the Death Eaters, you know, as the great hero he had written about, never knowing that in fact, no, that really wasn't him. So, huh. I think I, I, Lockhart was my favorite. Uh, let's see here. Got a little bit of time left. What's your top five best or worst DC Universe figures? And that's from uh, Cam and Toy Reviewer. Cam and Toy Reviewer. Okay, uh, five best uh, DC Universe figures. Uh, the Barbara Gordon Batgirl, the Toys R Us exclusive Hal Jordan, Power Girl, just mentioned that. Uh, I think uh, the Gentleman Ghost was another one, and I highly recommend, I've already got uh, Hawk Girl and Gentleman Ghost, but I highly recommend that if you find that two-pack at Walmart or wherever, pick it up. Those are both very, very good figures, and you know it would be even better if they would have. It would have been better if they would have packed in the builder figure pieces they came with, because you know that gentleman ghost really needs to get re-released. But um, but yeah, he's number four, and then the question. The question I think is probably uh, uh, one of the best. Not necessarily one of my favorites, but definitely one of the best. Uh, the worst figure, uh, five of the worst, Harlequin. Harlequin was a terrible figure. I mean, it's one of the things where there's not much to her. Uh, and uh, for what little she had, that blue that blue face she has, particularly on mine, right around her chin, makes her look like she has 5 o'clock shadow and comes off a little more masculine than I think she's supposed to. And that's just scary. So, <laughs> Harlequin, definitely one of the worst. Uh, Mary Batson. You can argue that Mary Batson is a weak character as it is, but... You know, I think they, they could have done... They actually could have done something with her figure to make her a little more appealing. They didn't. Uh, Cheetah, I, I talked about this before. Uh, I think that... Uh, that uh, I guess as far as comic editions go, she's pretty accurate. I'm talking about the vintage Cheetah. But I would much rather have seen them do the, uh, the Super Friends Cheetah with just the spots around her, her neck and, the, and, the, and the, the collar going up to her, all the way up to her neck. You know, not so much cleavage showing. Uh, the shark, come on guys, the shark, <laughs> that's got to end up on the bottom of the list. And though we'll talk about it more when we get to him, the creeper. And that's, that's pretty disheartening, that's pretty sad. But uh, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. That's been part three. Uh, probably only have uh, another video or two left to do at most. And then we'll have our big uh, uh, drawing for the Wave 10 giveaway. And here we have Man Bat. Uh, Robot Man and Batman from the set. So, hope everybody keeps watching. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.